Hey, what's going on everybody? Redneck in a hat here. I'm Les and uh, hope you enjoy the video today. We're going to be talking about some gun safe stuff, so stick around. Hey, welcome back. I'm Les. Um, last video uh, was about uh, gift cards uh, from Father's Day. My kids bought me some gift cards to the uh, Pro Bass store, and uh, I used them. There was something I was needing, and I picked it up. But what it was, was this stack-on um, cordless dehumidifier for my gun safe. Um, supposedly one of the better uh, cordless dehumidifiers there is. There is several makes of uh, these, different brands, different safe companies make them. But anyway, um, the reviews I've seen on, on the stack on, you can buy this anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks. It's, it's really inexpensive. I think at the uh, Pro Bass store, I gave uh, 27 something for it, which is uh, pretty good insurance for any of your uh, metal valuables in your gun safe. And if you have a gun safe like this that's sealed up, you really need some kind of dehumidifier in it, which if it's one of these kind or electrical kind that you can plug in um, a golden rod which is the long rod that heats up but anyway you should really get one of these and put in there it'll help keep the uh, moisture out of your gun safe and, and you'd be surprised probably how much moisture uh, can get in one of these when you open the doors and then you shut the doors that moisture is trapped in there this like I say it, it's doesn't require batteries, but you sh you do have to plug it in every so often. They say every four to six weeks. That may kind of depend on where you live, how much moisture is in the air where you live. Somebody that lives in um, the desert may not have as much moisture as somebody that lives up in the mountains. I did take it out last night. I plugged it in, and it does have uh, a standard one-tid plug-in, and this folds around flush so that you can set it on a shelf in your gun safe. But plug this in on the front. See these little beads? And there's a gauge here that, that lets you know when they're wet, when they're dry. Um, these beads should be an orangish color. And you can, you can see it's kind of an orange color. Um, before I plug this in, it was kind of a, a greenish uh, yellow color. So I plugged it in. I left it plugged in for about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. It dried the beads out and it's ready to go in a gun safe. But it's, it's pretty simple to use. You uh, plug it in, it heats, it does heat up. So don't lay this on something that's, um, that can't handle heat. Uh, plug it in in your garage, uh, down in the basement or something, because it's going to release any moisture um, that, that's in these beads when you get it. Now when you get it, it, it is covered in a plastic cellophane, kind of to seal it, but um, in the factory, during manufacturing, if there's any moisture inside here, when they're putting it together in the air and then they seal it, all that moisture is trapped in here. So when you open this, plug it in for 10 to 12 hours, dry these beads out first, and you should be go to, you know, for, uh, be ready to go for four to six weeks. Um, I would suggest checking it um, the first time you use it. Uh, put it in your gun safe, um, wait two weeks, open your gun safe, look at it, put it back in. Just keep check on how much moisture your house does have in it. And, uh, and how much moisture is in your 
gun safe but check it every couple of weeks and kind of learn how fast it does pull moisture out of out of your gun safe like i say if you live in a dry area you're probably going to go six weeks if you live in the mountains um, around a lot of rain uh, in your area and a lot of it depends on how much how often you open your gun safe door if you don't open your gun safe door but once a, a month or two um, it's going to probably last longer without needing to be recharged but anyway just pull this out once your beads start to get turned greenish color the greener they are the wetter they are and uh, pull it out plug it in leave it plugged in to 10 12 hours your beads will turn kind of an orange color and I don't know if you can see the the orange color on them but like I say when I took this out of the package they were kind of a yellowish uh, color but so they weren't real wet but I wanted to make sure that they were dried out completely because I want to see how long you know it, it takes in my house to uh, you know get wet and we're gonna put this in here but first one of these kind take and put up on the top shelf of your gun safe where does moisture like to go moisture rises up um, if you ever noticed in a tent where does the condensation go it forms on the top of the tent and drips down basements same way moisture will rise up and anything that it can collect on it collects up high now if you have one of the other kinds of uh, dehumidifiers like the golden rods the long copper rods those you would want to stick in the bottom of your safe because the heat off of them they create heat that heat rises up so you want those kind to be towards the bottom of your safe but one of these put up on the top shelf it doesn't mount um, there's no screw holes or nothing just stick it up you know on your uh, top shelf as high as the highest shelf you got in there um, make sure there's nothing laying on top of it um, there is holes on the bottom of it holes you know across the back and holes on top so slide this in to where the holes I mean if you're gonna slide this all the way back you know on this shelf you're gonna want the side that's got the holes on it facing your door um, there's no buttons on it when you do plug it in there is a LED light on here it's a little bitty light it will turn on so that you know it's plugged in and recharging but uh, no buttons no switches it's pretty simple I like it and uh, if if I have any problems with it, I will do another review on it. Maybe down the road, um, you know, I'll, I'll do a review, let you know how it's uh, working, how good it's working, if I like it, if I don't like it. But uh, like I said, the reviews I've seen on it, this was one of the better ones um, that's like this. So uh, it's really inexpensive. Like I said, it's, you know, a steak dinner going out on a Friday night, you know, 20, 27 bucks, you know, and that's including a drink on the steak dinner. So I can, I can miss a, a meal or two. So, uh, anyway, let's get the safe opened up and let's get her in. Now I do have a, a, a shelf set up up there and I took and made this shelf out of one of, uh, the gun holders. It's one that has holes in it. I thought. Well, I'll, uh, that way that moisture air can go through here to help this thing collect it. So I put one of these up top because I had an extra one. And I'm going to stick this in there with, like I said, there's, there's holes along this side. I'm going to face it towards the door. Just going to stick it back in there on top of that upper shelf and the moisture will, will rise up but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video on the stack on uh, rechargeable dehumidifier till next time i'm redneck in a hat